Hello guys, my name is Bartkar1, bringing you guys our week 7 team builder of GPL Season 1. Uh, this week we're taking on uh, Geo and the Rosid Rodems. Uh, I think he's 2-4 uh, and, and we're 5-1. and one. But yeah, he's a, he has a pretty good team. Pretty, uh, I mean, pretty, very bulky team. So uh, yeah, gonna be a, a challenging game to uh, break through his walls. So uh, since he has the... The Celesteela, he has a Red Uniclus, so yeah, that's some bulk right there, and, and some decent speed stats as well, so it's a, a pretty annoying matchup to, for sure. So yeah, uh, let's see what we brought. So uh, first up we have uh, Ferrothorn, uh, running Okabe very once again, since I expect him to have uh, fire coverage on most of his mons. Uh, he has a Salazzle, so I don't want to stay in on that because I can't take a Flamethrower or Fire Blast from that win, even with Knockerberry, since I'm not running any Spidev investment. This is basically my best check to uh, Mimikyu, because he has Mimikyu and that's an annoying one to play around with uh, with its ability. So I uh, gotta be careful that T Wave is there for the Mimikyu for the Celesteela, just to uh, spread around some paralysis, uh, slow down his faster mons. Can't T Wave his Jolteon, but yeah. It's not, you probably won't bring that in on, on my Ferrator anyways. Uh, Jarabal for, for some, some damage, I guess, on the Mimikyu. Uh, on the, yeah, for some damage, not to do nothing at all, I guess. Uh, the Stealth Flux right there, just to get up rocks, uh, get some chip, which is gonna be pretty important uh, to break down his team. And then Leech Seed for some recovery, so some extra, extra residual damage. Just, yeah, basically relaxed nature. Uh, Max defense, max HP, rest in, in attack. Uh, so yeah, pretty straightforward set here. I expect him to bring Flamethrower on the Celesteela and stuff. So that's why we need the Ockerberry. So we can uh, click Leech Seed or T-Wave on the Celesteela. He can't Leech Seed us back so since we're grass type. So that's pretty good right there. So yeah, pretty straightforward Ferrothorn once again. No, don't need to change this up too much. It, it puts in work anyways. Uh, next up, Mega Heracross. Uh, with uh, close combat pin, Mr. Wogblast substitutes. If I can get up a free substitute on something, that that's that's pretty nice. To uh, to not take a, a hit the next turn, I guess. Uh, I can't take an air slash from Celestila, so that's not too good, I guess. But alright, not too bad either. I mean, don't want to stay in on that thing anyways. So uh, yeah, uh, max attack, uh, two thirty two speeds. That's for Celestila if he's running max speed. Which I don't expect him to, but just in case, if you're running an offensive set. And then basically the rest in HP. Uh, this does very well against this team. Only issue is the the Mimikyu, and I can't really hit Araquin that hard. Hearts, I mean, yeah, I have Rock Blast, but that's not when it's going it, I think. If it's defensive. So yeah, we'll see. This, this mom puts in a lot of work if I can uh, keep it healthy. So yeah, that's a pretty important piece of the team this week. Uh, next up, our Meloetta, running choice specs with the Serene Grace ability. Uh, 200 speed, 252 max special attack, with a modest nature. Uh, 200 speed was for the Mega Tyranitar, I think. Uh, running and the rest in HP, basically running uh, Thunderbolt, Shadowbolt, Focus Blast and Psychic. Uh, yeah, T-Bolt is there for the Araquinid and uh, the Celesteela. Shadow Ball I need for the Mimikyu. Uh, but I might, cha might change that up. Uh, Focus Blast is there for the Tyranitar if I want to catch it on a switch in or something. Because it probably dies if he's offensive with Focus Blast. And then Psychic just for, for Stab and uh, Celazel, I guess. Because uh, I'm not uh, speeding that thing. But I mean, Malawetta's special bulk is pretty good, so I can... Switch it on the Salazzle and scary the art or kill it with a psychic. So that's pretty good. Uh, next up, Alolan Muck running Assault Fest with the Poison Touch ability since we're not running a berry. Uh, max attack, max HP. Uh, knock off Pursuit, Shadow Sneak, Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch is there for the, the Celesteela. Specific Shadow Sneak for Mimikyu and some priority. Uh, Pursuit is there to trap uh, Mons like the Jolteon, like the Celazel, uh, the Reuniclus if I get the opportunity, and knock off just to uh, knock off some items. Yeah, this this uh, Mon should put in some work. I might run a little bit uh, less attack on it, I guess, but uh, might change that up a bit. But 
Yeah, pretty straightforward uh, Alolan box set there. Just, yeah, I need the Thunder Prince to be able to hit uh, the Celestila, because otherwise I can't really do much to it. Uh, yeah, pretty uh, straightforward there. And then uh, next up is Tornadus, uh, running Fire and Z, Prankster ability. Uh, max special attack, mild, like, uh, mild nature, yes. Uh, max speed. Uh, running a negative defense nature because we're running U-turn and want to do to do some damage, I guess. Uh, heat wave defog taunt and U-turn. Uh, it's a pretty weird set, but it should put in some work. Uh, taunt is there for the shuckle if you decide to bring that because it, it's got five kills last week, I think. So he, he might bring that one since it uh, did so well last week. Uh, defog to uh, get rid of Harris hazards. Uh, if he decides to bring webs, it might be annoying. Uh, for an, especially for a next mon I'm bringing. bringing. Uh, heat wave to hit Celestila with Fire and Z. I should be able to Oko that thing if it's not too uh, spit off. And then you turn for uh, momentum. I uh, really don't want to be trapped by the by the Tyranitar, so gotta be careful with that thing. Since uh, this that's a very good switch into this. But he might expect me to have Z Focus Blast or something, so. Uh, he might not want to bring it in on uh, on this mon, I guess. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, the tornado set. And last but not least, our uh, late game cleaner, uh, Meg Mortar, running uh, Citrus Berry Flame Warp, max attack, uh, 252 speed to uh, outspeed uh, Jolteon plus one speed. And yeah, so they're, they're the other four in, in HP, but actually I should change this up to... Uh, to spit death because I want to be running a, an, uh, an uneven amount of hit points, I guess, for Stealth Fox. Uh, yeah, Flame Charge, Earth Pick, Thunder Prince, Battle Drum. Just, if I get some chip on, on most things on this team, this thing just cleans up. After a Belly Drum and a Flame Charge, I should outspeak everything, bar any Scarfers. Uh, flame Charge for Stab, just hits pretty hard, I guess, at the uh, 6. Uh, earthquake there for uh, the Salazzle or the Tyranitar, since I Oko that thing at, uh, at plus 6. I was thinking of running Fighting Stab, uh, Fighting Coverage, but EQ is, is fine since I even uh, Max Defense, Max HP sets doesn't live in EQ at plus 6. And then Thunder Prince, I need for the Araquinid because I can't touch that thing otherwise. So yeah, that's basically I do it because I do expect that thing to be coming and I don't want to be walled by it. If I manage to set up late game, since flame charge, I mean it's a neutral hit, but he probably has the water bubble ability, so fire moves aren't gonna hit it that hard. So yeah, that's uh, that's the team uh, this week. Uh, I hope that the set put in work. It's uh, yeah, uh, something uh, I learned from watching MV's videos, I guess. Uh, the the battle with Mag Mortar. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in a match. All right, guys. Uh, we're here with the match uh, against Geo. Uh, he brings a team of Celestila, Reuniclus, Jolteon, Shuckle, Mimikyu, and uh, Mega Tyranitar. So yeah, the the four big threats came: uh, the Jolteon for some speed, and then the Shuckle for for rocks and webs, I guess. Uh, um, don't really know really what he will lead. Probably the Shuckle to get up rocks or something. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see how we did. So uh, yeah, we need uh, Heracross because uh, we need Heracross because uh, we can basically cripple the the shuckle or, or maybe even kill it. If we let off with the uh, Tyranitar as well, we could have just clicked plus combat. Uh, but we need the Jolteon, and I don't really want to take uh, a T bolt from this thing. It's gonna do like 50% if it's uh, max special attack. So we switch out into our Assault Fest Muck and you just go for the Yawn, which uh, is, is annoying because I basically got to switch here. Because my uh, my Muck will uh, fall asleep otherwise. So yeah, gonna immediate switch out here. Otherwise it's just set up follow. So I go into my Ferrothorn as he clicks uh, the Volt Switch and we see that it is Life Orb. So, uh, all right, he brings in his Tyranitar. Uh, he goes uh, for the Mega Evolution. 
and he clicks Fire Punch, we uh, consume our Kaberry. Uh, he takes some uh, some Iron Barbs damage and we go for a T-Wave. Basically, I mean, I could have gone for, for either Stealth, Stealth Rock Zero for a, a Gyro Ball, but I honestly thought just, just crippling this T-Tar was the better idea, was the better play. So yeah, this T-Tar is, I mean, it's paralyzed, not, not like it's gonna do nothing anymore for him, but uh, definitely gonna do less than it's, it would have otherwise done. So yeah, uh, we're just gonna let our uh, Ferritone go down here because I mean I didn't really have any other switch into this to a Fire Punch. So yeah, there, there goes our, uh, our Ferritone. We immediately go into Heracross and click Pin Missile since it's covered most of his switch ins and we take out the Titar. I mean, it didn't want to close kick close, close combat since if you wanted to bring in the Mimikyu, we would have done nothing, nothing to it. So I clicked Pin Missile, which would have hit the Reuniclus if it wanted to come in. Uh, and it would have hit the Mimikyu as well if it would wanted to come in and, and break its disguise. So, but he decides to, to stack off the T-Tar here, so that's uh, a big threat out of the way. So that's good, so it's yeah, 5-5 five to five now. Uh, take a little bit of Sandstorm chip there, and he goes into the Jolteon again, so yeah, same, same thing as, as turn 1 actually. Uh, so I go in the muck, and he clicks the on again. So actually, should have just clicked close close combat with my Heracross. That was the the proper play there to just take out the Jolteon, because our muck being asleep uh, might might uh, bite us in the ass later on, I guess. So yeah, right here I'm. Uh, this I should probably shouldn't have done this. So he's go for the full streak as I. Uh, Click Pursuit here, and we uh, are going to do a, a solid 67% uh, to him and get the Poison from the Poison Touch. So that's pretty lucky right there. So uh, this Jolteon is basically dead after a, a Life Orb recoil and some Poison damage. He's just going to get one more attack off or, he gonna, or he's going to sack it off to a move, I guess. So yeah. Uh, and then he goes Celestila, which is, yeah, not good. And my Mug falls asleep. Honestly. Uh, I switched start here because I was like, he might go EQ here or he might want to set up, which would be very bad. If he just ha if he had the autonomize, he would have probably clicked it right there. But uh, yeah, he goes for a protect, which I find a pretty interesting play because I mean, he burned a turn of sleep for me there if I decided to stay in. So actually, maybe should have stayed in uh, in hindsight. It would have been. A better play, but yeah, I get my tornadoes in for free now. And uh, since you have the Z Z uh, heat wave, well, I was thinking about clicking the heat wave here, but this protect was pretty obvious. But he didn't click it, so should have clicked Z heat wave actually. But yeah, getting off 56% on the Celestial is nice, of course. As he goes for an iron head and does yeah, 61% to me. So uh, I mean, clicking heat wave right here is, is pretty free again as he sacks off the Jolteon. So that thing is out of the way. So it's 5 to 4 now. And I'm pretty decent one. Here comes the Mimikyu. I'm just gonna click U-turn here to break the disguise and I would speed it unless it's scarfed. But it's his Z-user, so he's probably... And here I make a big misplay, actually. Should have just gone Mach here, since it's asleep anyways. If you wanted to click the Z-move then, my Mach would have taken hit, but I decide to go uh, Meloetta. Because I thought he might go for a ghost move, and since Meloetta is normal type, it wouldn't have done anything. But he goes for a Z move here, and it's uh, the Let's Snuggle Forever. Uh, yeah, we take that one actually, which I didn't expect. Because, I mean, Meloetta doesn't have that good physical bulk. But we are max H, not max HP, but if pretty, a lot of uh, some HP investment, I guess. Not too much, but we take the Z move, which is. Incredible to me, honestly. But yeah, I mean, Minimiki without any boost doesn't doesn't have that big of an attack stat, I guess. So yeah, we take that uh, and we switch out in the muck again. But right here, the sleep is uh, is not going to get. It goes for a drain punch here. Good play on his part. And right here, um, yeah, I stay in and he starts sword dancing up. Should have expected this, honestly. But I'm, I'm hoping and praying that Muck wakes up here. But he doesn't. I was clicking Shadow Sneak here, by the way. That's why I sped him, because that would have hit him uh, 
the hardest, I guess, clicking knockoff wouldn't have done anything since... I mean, it would have done extra damage because he is still holding the Z-Crystal. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to get as much damage off as possible. But, uh, and that's why I wanted to go faster, since if we, cl if we would have clicked play rough, I would have died at plus two, so... But he has these again, which is really good play on his part. Uh, so right here, we are gonna wake up, get up the Shadow Sneak, uh, and do 43%, which is pretty good. Do not get the poison, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, we are sitting with a plus 3 Mimic you on the other side, which is not a good thing. So he goes for the play rough, hits it, and down goes Muck. And right here, yeah, I'm, I'm in big trouble. I mean, I have to hope he, he misses a, a play rough, I guess, or the game is basically over. Unless for some reason he decides to switch out his Mimic you, which he shouldn't, but uh, yeah, so uh, we go into Tornadus, but yeah, hoping he would, would swap out or something, but Shadow Sneak kills us, of course, since we have, yeah, paper thin uh, defenses. Uh, we go into Meloetta, that's gonna die to a, a play rough. So basically, this, this, uh, was the game right there. Uh, right here I panicked a little bit, should have clicked Rock Blasts, but I decided to click Pin Missile for some reason. Uh, since he goes to the Shadow Snake, right here if I would have clicked Rock Blast he dies and hit it of course. As uh, we've missed uh, Rock Blast before this season. Uh, I click Pin Missile, but since that's four times resisted, that's gonna do absolutely nothing and it's not gonna die. And there's still a plus three Mimikyu sitting there, which should have been dead. Since he clicked Shadow Sneak, I should have just clicked Play Rough, but he didn't want to miss, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, now he goes for a Shadow Sneak, takes us out this time. And uh, we just have our Magmortar left, which was our uh, it was our late game win con. But, uh, I mean, if he just clicks Drain Punch or, or uh, Shadow Sneak here, we die. Uh, so, I, I just have to go for a, a Flame Charge or a Belly Drum here. So uh, he does switch out for some reason, which I find pretty weird. But uh, all right, if he wants to give me another chance to win, uh, I guess I'll take it. So I go for the flame charge uh, to get my speed up, to get speed everything, including the mimic you. And right here he goes. Uh, see, we see the lefties on it. Uh, we go for the belly drum as a, as a kind of a last resort play. It's the only thing we can do. Uh, this is uh, what this uh, McMortar was. Uh, designed for so uh there we go for the belly drum as he goes for the acid armor so right now we can't want it going anymore so we gotta hope for a crit uh he gets the lefties back uh we go for uh, an earthquake and it does we see it does 49 percent so if we do get a crit uh he does die uh but he goes uh, for the recover of course smart play there uh not running to risk his runicles uh, we're just gonna basically keep click, clicking EQ here because that's the only play we have. And hope for it, he sets up even more. And uh, yeah, he's gonna click another EQ since he's a plus three. Not gonna do as much anymore. So he goes to the recover. And let's see how this basically goes on for a while. Uh, we do like, yeah, 35%. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's not gonna cut anymore unless we crit him. Um, we do, again, uh, yeah, 34%. Yes, is at plus uh, 4 defense now, and we're at uh, uh, plus four, 6 defense, I mean, and we're at plus 6 attack, so it's, yeah, basically neutral damage. And since Magmortar's uh, physical attacks, that is not that good. And that's not, not great, of course. Uh, we go for an, uh, an EQ again. He takes that very well now. He goes up to 97% uh, with his lefties. And we get the crit. So, yeah, basically... I'm pretty sure we can take a Shadow Sneak now. As well from the Mimikyu. Since, I mean, it it's, it's doesn't hit that hard without any boosts. So yeah, this crit might actually win us the match, unless the Shuckle leaves a hit and can click Stone Edge or something and, and kill us, but uh, yeah, so the Runiculus goes down and we are at plus 6 attack and plus 1 speed right now, 
And yeah, very good. So the Mimic Cube does come in. Uh, he does click the Shadow Snake. It does 31% uh, read our Citrus Berry, which we didn't before. Uh, which is actually a bit of a misgen on my part, I guess, since that should have been consumed immediately, but well, didn't really come into play, I guess. So yeah, uh, we go for the Flame Charge here. Didn't really matter what I clicked right there. Uh, so yeah, the Mimigu goes down. And he only has the Celesteela and the Shuckle left. He goes into the Shuckle. We go for EQ since we hit the hardest with that move. Could have gone for the Thunder Punch. But uh, for, to, to get a para, I guess. But uh, He goes for the Shell Smash, which is interesting because he's uh, contrary. So don't, don't know what to think about that, I guess. But all right. Uh, and then yeah, we get a crit with our crit, which didn't matter. And uh, yeah, Celesteela comes in, and we get Thunder Punch. I mean, he clicks Protect first. I mean, doesn't really matter, I guess. He, he dies anyways. But uh, yeah, one of the next return, I guess. So yeah, uh, we pick up the W, which is yeah, we we probably shouldn't have. To be honest, if he just uh, kept in his Mimikyu and clicked Train Punch or. or Shadow Sneak, uh, we would have died. Uh, I think plus three Shadow Sneak did about 75%. Uh, so we would have consumed our Barium be at around 50% after a Belly Drum. But then with the Belly Drum, uh, he could just uh, click Shadow Sneak again and we would have died. So yeah, that uh, that's the game right there, I guess. So yeah. Uh, Great game to Geo. Enjoyed this one a lot. He's a great guy, of course. Uh, very funny. Uh, but yeah, uh, enjoyed this one. Shouldn't have won this one, I guess, but uh, we're 6 and 1 now, so uh, I will take that. Uh, looking forward uh, to playing him again at some point. Maybe not this season, but uh, maybe next season. We'll see. Or in another league. But uh, yeah, great game to him. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.